Tyson the Subaru Specialist from Subaru Prince George here and today we are taking a look at the 2024 Subaru Forester Limited in the crystal black silica. Limited is a full load Forester, 8.7 inches of minimum ground clearance and of course Subaru's full-time symmetrical all-wheel drive, perfect for these winter days that we get here. Now at the back we do have a power lift gate, you can activate from the key fob, the door or the driver's seat. We have backup sensors integrated into the rear bumper. They will apply the brakes if things are going to hit something in reverse between speeds of 1 and 15 kilometers an hour. And with that big boxy square rear end, you have a ton of storage in the Forester, as you would imagine. You've got hooks at the top there for storage. Privacy cover is standard equipment. Hides everything from the top of the seats down. This can be removed and tucked underneath our false floor here and the cargo tray, which is also standard equipment. Got a little tray and the tire is inside the vehicle underneath that. Grocery bag hooks on either side, in addition to a 12 volt power point for any charging needs you may have. To fold the seats down, we have a switch. We have the same switch on the side there for the passenger side. Harman Kardon audio system, upgraded audio system, phenomenal stereo. Have an additional hook out of the hatch, in addition to an LED cargo light. To close it, we can pull down, we can close it, we can close and lock it, we can use the driver button, we can use the key fob, lots of options. Roof rails, all the four should come with them, so you can get crossbars if you're going to load anything on the roof. Second row, lots of headroom and lots of legroom for passengers. You can fit up to three passengers comfortably across, and of course, being the limited, you do get that leather upholstery, the dark gray slash black with that contrast stitching. There is a fold-down armrest with integrated cup holders in the second row, along with Matte back pockets on the backs of both seats. Now, the outboard passengers do get heated seats, high and low setting for each. Two USB ports to keep everyone connected on those longer trips, and vents out of the center console in addition to underneath each front seat to heat up or cool down the second row more effectively. Rear door card is soft touch, soft touch armrest, power window, a little bit of storage along with the bottle holder. Being that it's a proximity key, all you have to have is the key within 46 inches. To lock it, all you do is touch the lines and it locks. Wait a second, put your hand back in, and it unlocks. Front door card looks very, very similar to that of the rear. Soft touch armrest, soft touch door card, window lock, four power windows, power mirror. Two position memory settings for your driver seat and driver mirror position. A little bit more storage along with the bottle holder there. It is, of course, a power driver seat with lumbar, and it's the same seating material up front as it is in the second row in the Forester with it already running. Right hand side of the steering wheel, we have the all important heated steering wheel. Up here we have our adaptive cruise and our lane centering. Now those systems are controlled by these two black boxes. Those are your camera stereo eyesight cameras. They're always looking for vehicles, pedestrians, and road lines. We have Bluetooth and audio controls on the left hand side of the steering wheel. Up top here in the center display, we do have a couple different screens, including a digital speedometer. Up top, we have a little information screen, that little red light right there. That is your driver focus system. It's trying to scan me in right now. It'll do your memory position settings based off your face. It'll tell you if you're drowsy and tell you if you're distracted. We can cycle through multiple different screens on this multifunction display. Different info, depending on what you want to look at. Also, our climate control displays, and it ranges from 30 on the high side all the way down to 15. So from freezing to drop, depending how you and your passengers want it. Easy to sync it back to driver controlled. You can see your fan strength, where your airflow is being directed, easy to use. Below that, 8-inch infotainment system, phone, media, pretty self-explanatory map. So you've got navigation powered by TomTom, Tom. that's free for the life of the vehicle, there's no subscription needed. Physical home button, or we have the digital one up there. It's also our backup camera when you put it in reverse. Rear assist braking's on, parking sensors are on, and you can clean the backup camera from inside the vehicle. Great for our winters. Below that, we have our climate controls. We've got driver temp, passenger temp, fan strength, little storage cubby with two USBs and aux and a 12 volt. It is an automatic CVT with manual mode if you want to manually select your own gears. We have X mode, which is like 4x4 low on a pickup for that really extreme rough stuff. Maybe a day like today with all the snow on the road, under speeds under 40 kilometers an hour. Heated seats, high and low for both driver and passenger. And up top, Auto dimming rear view mirror, so there's no switch to flick. It just automatically dims if someone has their high beams on behind you. Up top, we have SOS and roadside, part of the three-year trial to the connected services you got with most new Subarus, and we get a panoramic sunroof. 
that is a quick look at the 2024 Subaru Forester Limited in the crystal black silica, stock number 24FR4569. And you can find it down here at the corner of First and Victoria, Subaru of Prince George.